When we are sick, we like healing. And when we approach God regarding our need for healing, our preference is an event, not a process. We really like it when he zaps the bug and we are instantly healed. The reality is that doesn't happen that often, so we have the process. And one of the processes that I love the most is when our spirit is able to partner with the Holy Spirit in order to bring healing to our body. Most of the time that doesn't happen because our spirit is not in the seat of dominion. What's the seat of dominion? Let me illustrate it with a computer. You have a tower on your desk and a monitor and speakers and you know the computer's working. You can hear music running in the background because you've got a playlist going. You can hear a ping every so often when it automatically checks emails and you have new email. You can see the screensaver on. You know it's working, but you have absolutely no control over it because the mouse isn't plugged in. Well, there's a little USB port. Whether you have a wireless mouse or regular mouse, you plug it in. And suddenly, when the mouse, this little bitty mouse, is plugged in to the tower, you have control. You can change the playlist, you can delete the playlist, you can add to it, you can change the screensaver, you can download new software, you can remove old software. You have a world of choices when the mouse is plugged in. The same thing happens with us. The seat of dominion right here in the middle of your forehead is, in my opinion, where spirit interfaces with matter. Your brain runs your body, and your spirit can be a lot of places in your body, often in the belly area, other times in the right hemisphere of the brain. But if your spirit is not plugged into the seat of dominion, it can interface with God it can communicate with your soul, but it can't really heal the body if it's not plugged in. That's the whole point of the seat of dominion. Well, we have a number of teachings about the seat of dominion. Come with me to the search engine and let me walk you through some of the dynamics of how to interpret the data that comes up when we do a search for seat of dominion. All right, we are on the home page of the SLG website. I move my mouse over, check, click there, and type in Seated Dominion. And we get 17 major themes, 31 moderate, three minor references. We're going to skip the moderate minor and just look at the major. What I'd like you to see here as you try to choose which one of the 17 you want to listen to is the date. So this one, Iron Pins number two, the temple, is dated January 13th of 2023, meaning it's very, very recent. You compare that to this video also in the app about divine time, that's from 2020. In SLG, stuff grows, ideas develop, we learn more, and there's something to be said for the old stuff. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom through this. Principles not working. That was one of the things we learned a while back. When your spirit is not in the seat of dominion, the principles don't work like they should. Here's the PTSD. We don't have a date on that one, but... When somebody is trying to heal their spirit and their soul and their body from war type or personal disturbance, PTSD, it helps to have the spirit in the seat of dominion. And you can see going back to 2012, an old, old album by our standards, 10 years old, ancient, that we've been talking about it for a while. But if you scroll back to the top and you look at this one, this is the newest the most recent, and it has to do with the iron pin that goes through your brain from the temple on the right side to the left all the way through, and it goes through the part of the brain where the seat of dominion is supposed to be established. And if the devil's ungodly iron pin 
is going through that space, I can assure you your spirit wants nothing to do with being in that space because the iron pins from the enemy are not good. Now, you can be a connoisseur and check some of the medium to old. Here's another one that's brand new in the album, Cleansing Our Fractals of Time. There was a very specific prayer regarding that issue. Or if you want to focus teaching, this is number two in a series of five on iron pens through the body. Just letting you know that you've got choices, choices, and choices, and we're highly transparent. Major theme, moderate theme, minor reference, downloads, or the app that you have to subscribe to, app audio, app video, free audio, live stream, lots of different choices. The information is going to vary. If we have 17 treatments of it, there will be different intensities. Some will be just teaching, some will be prayers. And this is the newest, or almost the newest in January. The Cleansing of Fractals of Time is a bit newer. And if you like the most recent up-to-date version, this is where you go. Just learn to check the dates. They're there to facilitate your choosing. All are right. And if you want the original First Fruits, you know where to find it. If you want the latest greatest, you can also find it easily.